Welcome back to another video on Discord.py Rewrite. Um, today I'll be going over a few miscellaneous things, some things that just are uh, smaller details that just uh, won't be long enough to make a video. So uh, I'll be going over a, uh, a small on-message event fix, um, some things like where you uh, have an on-message uh, event and uh, you have a command in there maybe or something and uh, all of a sudden your 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 other commands just don't work right so you have this and then you can't use this um, another thing is I have an updated join command uh, an updated play and queue command and uh, a new command to uh, change volume while the bot is playing music so uh, the first we'll go over um, the on message thing so basically right now we have a basic um, bot here that has an on message event and then one command right and the on message uh, event what it does is it gets the channel from the message then if the author of the of the message is the bot it just returns so it doesn't do any of this um, if it is a user not the bot um, it will get the content so if it is slash test it'll print out into that channel this is a test right so then the command here we have is a command and then it's uh the command is test two and then it'll print this is another test into the discord so basically what it should do is that right so we'll come over here and we'll do slash test two or actually we'll just do test do that right so this is a test so as you can see over here we have test this is a test, right? So it did what we wanted it to do. Now if we go back over here, and we do slash test2, it won't do anything. And it won't it won't tell us anything, right? It won't give us an error or anything, it just won't do anything, because this is all it's doing is this on message event, right? So to fix this, it's really simple, is what we're going to want to do. I'm going to hit enter, come out to the bottom, at the end of your on message uh, event put in a wait do bot dot process process underscore commands like that and then just do message the message thing that we passed in here pass it into there then whenever we rerun this we'll come back over here and then we'll do slash test All right this is a test and then we'll come over to here and you can see it ignored exception and command none um, because there is no command test right but there is this so on message test we do that so it did that then we'll come back over here and we'll do slash test 2 ever since this is another test there we go see that's just the simple fix to fix uh, your commands not working after you've just uh, completed your own message it's just this simple line of code the bot dot process underscore commands message right um alrighty now on to the updated join command so this right here is the old join command as you can see we have the join and then we have the channel and the voice and then it joins disconnects and then joins um and then it, it prints out joined and then prints the channel that it joined so over here we have an updated join command. So we have the is basically the same here until we get to here. So if voice is not none, so if it's not none, move to that channel. All right, and then we do a channel dot connect, and then it just prints out. So we're not doing the joining and the leaving. And this is a more updated um, Discord .py rewrite version of it. Um, the reason we're doing this is because the old way that I was doing it, uh, where we do like a, a voice equals await and doing all that stuff, it uh, it caused some problems if the bot didn't have permission to join a channel. It would cause it to join the channel but actually not join the channel. So the bot thought it was in a channel but it didn't. It wasn't actually in a channel. Uh, this fixes that. So yep, um, this will be in the description. I'm not really going to go over the code to it, it's just basically if voice is not none, so if it is in a voice channel, it'll move to a different voice channel if uh, if it's not already in that one, and then if uh, it'll return that, by the way, so it's in a return statement, 
Um, if it didn't return, it'll just connect and then it'll print it out. So yeah, that's it. Now we're on to the updated play slash Q command. So right here is the old play command. Um, we have the old name dot or dot split, the renaming of this, uh, all this, the downloading, and then the Spotify, and then the deleting of the old queue, and the deleting the old song file. So, um, what we're going to be doing is this uh, update is going to in turn make this much faster uh, at downloading and stuff, and then it's also going to intake like a search. So, if you want like the GTA 5 theme song, you're not going to put in the URL to it. You could just type slash play space and the GTA 5 theme song, right? So what we're first going to want to do is we're going to want to put a star here at the beginning of URL because we don't know what the name of the song that they want to request. So we, we're just, that basically says accept all of the variables, but it'll put URL, it'll put it into a list. So I'll come down here and I'll explain this a little better. So here we're going to do a little thing here. So basically if we wanted to search for GTA 5 theme song, say it, right? So we put that in and we slash play GTA 5 theme song. So URL will look like this. It'll look like a, like a list of variables. So GT or, uh, sh uh, strings. Um, GTA 5 and then we'll put 5, five theme right song. All right, it'll look like this. Now we can't really do much with this list because we want all of this list to be in one string, right? We don't want GTA 5 theme song, right? We want GTA 5 theme song. So what we're going to do is we're going to do song underscore search equals, and then we're going to do that. We're going to do this. Make sure there's a space in there. Dot join. J-O-I-N parentheses put URL right so this will pass this list into here join them together and join them with a space a space make sure there's a space in there so it joins them with a space so now after that song underscore search will equal this GTA 5 theme song right so now after this, we'll take the URL, we'll join it together and do this variable, and then this variable will equal this, right? So that's basically what we want to do. So we're going to get rid of that and that because we're wanting the user to pass in what they want to search. Alrighty, so we have this variable. We're doing all this. And then in here, we want to do something. Alright, so we want to delete that. Put the brackets back actually. Put an F for an F string. And then we'll do YT search one. Alright, and then we'll do curly brackets. Make sure this is here. Um, then we'll do song search. That's it. And then up here, we want to make sure we rename it. We want to do out. Template, all right. We'll do comma. We'll do song. Mp3. So this will basically just put the default to that, and that's fine. Alrighty. So now what I'm gonna do is come down here to where the Spotify is and change the URL here to song search and then we also want to do a dash ff and then rename that the song alrighty and this should be all good and then we just want to delete this because we don't need that at all and then also delete this because we don't need that at all so there we go we've shortened our code immensely because we just deleted two steps that we don't need we're downloading urls or a search um, by just name so let's test this out so we'll run this alrighty there we go we're in come over here let's join 
Alrighty, slash join. Slash play. Let's do GTA 5 theme song. GTA 5 theme song. Alright, so we're getting everything ready, so we'll come back over here. As you can see, downloading audio now. And you can hear it. Sorry. It did work. I was just on my OBS, I had my sound turned uh, off. There we go. I'll show you guys that again. So we'll do play GTA 5 theme song. All right. We'll come back over here. As you can see, it removed the old song file, and then it downloaded a new one. As you can see, if we synchronize this, it is right there. See, it is playing it in there. Alrighty. We'll do stop. So we don't need that anymore. And then we'll go and we will update our Q command. Alrighty, so we have a Q command here. Alrighty, so it's basically the same stuff. We want to add a star here. Star there. Um, make sure this is the brackets. I don't know why I just deleted those brackets. And the F string. YouTube search one. Curly brackets. And make sure we make that variable of Sir song underscore search equals space. Make sure that's in there. Dot join URL. We'll do song search. Make sure we come down here and change that to song search there. Alrighty, that's it. That's uh, this should work. I'm not gonna test it because it's gonna take way too long, but it will work. Alrighty, and on to our fourth and final thing, the volume command. So, what you're basically going to do is make a new command. Make a volume. Alright, and then we'll change the aliases here. V and then VOL. Alright. Then, we want to do an if ctx dot voice underscore client is none want to return All right and then we'll do an await we'll do ctx dot send uh not connected to voice channel right alrighty and then we'll do a print do the volume oh yeah we gotta pass in the volume uh, variable so we'll do value uh, volume is an integer and then we'll do that divided by 100. Do a little math here. I'll do ctx dot dot voice client dot source dot volume equals volume divided by 100. Then we'll do an await ctx dot send changed changed volume to let's see here f volume we'll put a percent sign here all right so why we're dividing by 100 is because people are going to do it like out of 100, right? So if they do 
I'll change it to they do slash val. I want to do 45, right? We the discord.py doesn't take 45 as a volume thing, right? So if we come up here, I'll show you. Um, right here, see how we have 0 0.07? 45 is just not a thing. It's 1 from 0, right? That's what they do. So 45 divided by 100, though, is 0.45, right? So that's what they'll take. We don't want that, so we'll just set the default to 0 point, or 0 0.07. So what we do is we divide that by 100 to put it as 0.45. And then we equal, then we set the volume to 0.45, and then we just tell them that that's 45%. All right, it just makes that, it just, it's just that easy. All righty. So then we'll just run this, and I'll show you. All righty, we running? All righty. Over here. And we'll do slash join. Just leave and join again just to make sure here. Slash play J5 theme song. Theme song. Alrighty. Alrighty. Then we'll do slash val. I want it at 6%. Well, that's what it's at right now. So we'll do val. Uh, we'll do 1%. Right? There you go. 1%, as, it, as you can see, it got quieter. Uh, I don't really want to go much louder than it was because I don't want to blow anyone's eardrums up, but I'll go, like, let's do 10%, see what happens. Be prepared. There you go. So this does change the volume, as you can see. So, yep, that's it for today, guys. Alrighty, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, code for all of these will be in the description. I'll make sure that, um... If you need any help, want to stop and say hi, um, or talk to any of the awesome people that are already in the Discord server, um, please join at, as you would like. Uh, there's a link in the description. Um, yep, I'll see you guys in the next video.